The next song that we're going to sing together is yet another song that I remember being played on the radio on a Sunday afternoon in Calcutta. It was a very popular song and it is also a very beautiful one. Now, the previous song that we had recorded focuses on a situation in which the singer or the songwriter finds himself in a very sad place because all he or she has left is memories and souvenirs and a broken heart. Well, in this song, the narrator, the singer, the songwriter finds himself or herself stranded in a place of heartache and grief. And while I'm sure all of us go through these seasons of sorrow, it is not enough just to wallow in self-pity and grief because we need to cherish those memories and move forward. Well, in contrast to the narrator being hemmed in and stranded in this place, there is this bird which is just able to up and fly away with not a care in the world. This beautiful song has special memories for me because I remember that when my mother was a teacher at Calcutta Girls High School, she had a group of friends who also loved music as much as her. And together they would get together for singing sessions. One such singing session was at our place on Elliot Road and they had got together particularly to learn this song. I think Auntie Esther had brought this song uh, and it was decided that this one would be the one that they would sing for their dear students on Children's Day. I can still almost hear them singing as we sat around the front room, coffee table and dad was playing the keyboard. This song was written by a Canadian songwriter, Jean McLellan. It was recorded by many performers, but I think Anne Murray's recording in 1969 was the best and the most popular. It s spent six weeks at number one on the US adult contemporary charts and became a surprise top US country hit as well. Anne Murray and Jean McLellan had both met while they were regulars on the CBC television series Sing Along Jubilee and so it was only natural for them to team up. Murray recalls Jean telling her that he had written Snowbird in 20 minutes while walking on a beach on Prince Edward Island and the minute I hear Prince Edward Island I think of Montgomery's Anne of Green Gables, Kindred Spirits and all that. So I'll invite you to sing this rather sad but beautiful song about the snowbird, particularly my Canadian family. I hope you'll sing along. And let me get this ready so that we can start indeed. Snowbird sings a song he always sings And 
hope you sang along. And again, sorry about that mistake in the last line, I think, or the second last line. These are songs I remember singing so long ago and I haven't sung them, I haven't played them, and I'm sure you don't mind because you are so kind. Did that rhyme? I didn't mean it to. But anyway, I hope you sang along. And remember, memories are precious. Hold on to them, but also learn to take the joy and move forward, keeping in mind and in heart those special memories that you hold so dear. So I dedicate this to Auntie Lily, Auntie Esther, Auntie Beulah, of course my mum, and all the other teachers who would sing along and bring your students so much joy. God bless you all and take care.